Hey there folks, and welcome to our first example video on evaluating double integrals over general regions. In this video, I'd like to evaluate the double integral over d of 2x plus y, where d here is the region bounded between the curves x equals y squared and x equals 2 minus y. Now, we know that we evaluate double integrals by setting up two iterated single integrals, right? One with respect to x and one with respect to y. But if we're not integrating over a rectangle, the order of integration is super important. To figure out the correct order to use, we always start by graphing the region D. If we graph the region D in the xy plane, we should be able to decide if it's type 1 or type 2 or both and set up our integral accordingly. So here, D is the region bounded between the curves x equals y squared and x equals 2 minus y. Well, x equals y squared, that's a parabola opening in the positive x direction. It looks something like this. The equation x equals 2 minus y, on the other hand, well, that describes the equation of a line. If we rearrange this a little bit, we can write it as y is 2 minus x. So it has a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of minus 1. There's our line. So our region D is the region bounded between these curves. It's this region right here. Now, do you think this region is of type 1 or type 2? Well, to be of type 1, it would mean that it's bounded above and below by nice functions of x. And if we draw a vertical arrow through the region, you can see that, well, on this part, it looks like the parabola is the upper bound, but on this part, it looks like the line is an upper bound, so it's not really bounded above and below in a nice way by functions of x. On the other hand, it is bounded nicely on both the left and right by functions of y. Right? If I draw an arrow pointing to the right, you can see that the parabola is going to be my leftmost bound, and my line is going to be my rightmost bound. All the while, y is moving between these two constant bounds, the points where the line and parabola intersect. Hmm, we don't yet know those points, but we'll probably need to find them in order to set up our integral. We get those points by equating the equation of the parabola and the equation of the line. So if y squared is equal to 2 minus y, we can move everything to the left to get y squared plus y minus 2 equals 0. Ah, we can factor this. We would get y plus 2, y minus 1 equals 0. And now you can see we have two solutions. Either y equals 1, that would correspond to this point up here, or y is minus 2, which would be this point down here. Okay, we're ready to set up our integral. On the outside, we're going to integrate with respect to y. This is the variable between constant bounds. So we compute the integral from minus 2 to 1. And now we have to compute the integral with respect to x. x is bounded by the parabola, x equals y squared, on the left, and the line, x equals 2 minus y, on the right. We include our function, 2x plus y, dx dy. Okay, fantastic. We've set up our integral, and we're going to evaluate it on the next slide. To evaluate our iterated integrals, we start from the inside and work our way out. So we're going to start by evaluating this integral, the integral from y squared to 2 minus y of 2x plus y dx. Okay, we start by looking for an antiderivative of this expression with respect to x. Since we treat y like a constant, we can use the antiderivative x squared plus xy, and we evaluate this from x equals y squared to x equals 2 minus y. Okay, we're going to plug in these bounds and see what we get. We have the integral from minus 2 to 1. And okay, this is going to look a little bit ugly, but we plug in the upper bound to get 2 minus y squared plus 2 minus y times y. And now we subtract off what we get by plugging in the lower bound. So minus y squared squared plus y squared y dy. Okay, it looks a little ugly, but the important thing is we've taken a Calc 3 problem, computing this double integral, and we've reduced it down to a Calc 2 problem. This is just a single variable integral that you would have seen back in Calc 2. If you simplify this gross expression, what you should get is the integral from minus 2 to 1 of minus y to the 4 minus y cubed minus 2y plus 4 dy. I'm going to leave the rest of the calculation as an exercise for you, but what you should get in the end is 243 over 20.